Hello, hello everyone. Back with this beautiful album. It's quite an interesting one because I've actually used a couple of different paper packs, some from my stash. I know that the main paper pack is from a, a Prima pa paper pad. Um, yeah, sorry, I just had to think about that for a second. And then there's a lot of plain papers that I've got. This is actually a piece of fabric. And you'll see as you go along, there will be different types of paper mixed together because I think they go. And I wanted to make an album that had, a, not a Valentine, but a love feel and a more sophisticated love feel within um, that it's not all pinks. Um, don't get me wrong, I love pink for Valentine's Day. And this isn't actually a Valentine's Day album. It's more about love and just being together so love 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 it it's got wonderful textures <clears throat> with this excuse me right here sort of type of uh, ribbon the opening of this album is quite interesting because it's this book is closed right now um there we go let's put it back so that there's a flap open so this one just opened for me already but it actually closes and opens like that and closes and then that flaps open and then you've got a whole big huge album for lots and lots of photos. The front cover I've just left playing for one of those really large, beautiful photographs of you and your loved ones or your significant other. Okay, so this opens up like that. Obviously, I love shaker card type frames, so you're going to see it all over the place. And then these to the moon and back. Beautiful sayings on these cards that you can either cover with photographs or write with a white gel pen. One of my favourite things to do when I have an album. Okay, is this going to take me forever to put back? Not really. It wasn't too bad. I think I put it in the... Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Let me show you what I'm meant to be doing. There's actually a flap here, but there's also a pocket behind. Sometimes I get. I think I get too clever for my own good. <laughs> there we go. Are you going to work now for me? Yes. Yes, hallelujah. There we go. And then that opens, and then that closes down with the magnet. And then you open this one up, also with the magnet, and it opens up like that. White paper, just to show you perhaps where you could or how you could place photographs. I do that on the first couple of pages, but then I stop because I think you get the picture. And you know what? It's for whoever gets this album to have fun with. These are a lot of um, scrap pieces. I don't like getting rid of my scrap pieces because it's such a waste, but it looks like such a fun pat patchwork. Um, you can place photos over it, you can leave it like that. It's just a fun way to use up all your pieces of paper, all of my pieces of paper. There we go, this is the same thing on the other side, repeats, and it has a card inside. There you go. Same idea. Closing up. There we go, magnetize, now let's see how will I do with this. Can you see the other side? I'm not sure. And then my, once I see it in film, it actually goes quite far, but what I'm seeing, it doesn't go quite far, so forgive me. All right, so this one opens. These two pieces of string opens. This one opens like that, and you have this 3D pop-up card idea. You can place photos over here. And then when you close it down, just give it a hand when you do that. And that goes like that and up and holds the paper. This flaps up. And then we've got, what have we got? A whole lot of things that I just thought we could use to decorate. Sometimes I do do that just to have extra for the person who gets it. And then this flaps up. And you have more space for photographs and writing. And then that flaps up down at least these are two pockets in which you've got these cards for photographs lovely paper that actually all suits each other so there you go. and then you open up like that Bring this across can you see that a happy day this is just an, i don't know if you'll be able to see on camera but can you see the letters I've actually put it in here for the person who's using it. They can actually pull out the letter. I don't want to do it because then it actually becomes quite fragile. Do you see that? There we go. They can use it for on their photographs. And then this is just a little flap. Well, a little card, actually. 
me and my wonderful misnaming of when things, when I come to, to film things. It's wonderful. There we go. That closes like that. That closes. That closes. That closes. And it's all closed. And then the pieces of string wrapped around this little braid hold everything together. Voila. <laughs> Okay. On to the next page, same sort of idea. This holds that little flap down. Let me show you. Opens up. My story is my favorite. And as you can see, I've just added beautiful playing card stuff where you can throw your photographs, stick your photographs on, and go down memory lane. What you'll see in a lot of my albums, I express the fact that I don't like leaving my photographs in my phone on my iPad, on my computer, it's lovely memories, but you know what, what I really love is actually going back on a Sunday afternoon when it's on my coffee table, I can sit and look through whatever this photo album is going to be. Sometimes I sell my photo albums, sometimes I keep them for myself because I love them so much. Not that I don't love the ones that I <laughs> sell, because I love them all, they're hard to say goodbye to, <laughs> but you get the, you get the idea. Okay, this could actually also be a wedding album. Just thinking about it now. There you go. Let's move this across. Laugh as much as you breathe, love as much as you live. Isn't that a fantastic quote to aspire to? Oh, gorgeous. Love, love this paper. Might have mentioned that, I'm not sure. On the top, there's a flap with a pocket. And inside you'll see a card that I often decorate with all my leftover pages. I think it looks like patchwork paper, uh, like patchwork fabric. Quilters do it. And I think it's such a lovely way to not just throw all of this out, but to reuse it. You can write with a gel pen across. You can add your photographs, whatever you feel like doing. There you go. And then that just goes back up. Okay. Over there. The twinkle in my eye. Isn't that stunning? <laughs> Love this paper. Okay, then this is a flap that holds a horizontal waterfall of pages. Obviously, all of these are just black, and I've left them like that so that when you put your photographs on, you can put them on both sides. And I'm not going to bore you with going through all of that, but that you get the idea that this is for all the photographs on both sides. And at the end, you've got a little pocket with a whole lot of different cards that you can place wherever you feel. You meaning the person that gets this album, if you're lucky enough. <laughs> and then, can you see this? Cuckoo. Write me a little pretty note. What, what did I say? Write me little pretty notes. That's what it says, actually. <laughs> and then that ties down. Let me see how my bow making skills are on camera. Not always great. Ta-da! There we go. <laughs> and then we're on to this page. It's the pocket page. It's got three pockets. The smaller one, medium, large size. And then obviously my frame with the sequins inside. In each pocket, obviously you've got these little cards, but you can also add lots more photographs behind. And this is another patchwork card. And it goes in the middle one. Go, lots of space, and then there's a really large card. Check this one out. Oh, fabulous. If you hear sn snoring or heavy breathing, it's just my boxer dogs. I have two, and they're rather noisy, and they've just come inside. So it's not me making funny noises, it's just them joining me. <laughs> there we go. Now, on to the next page. We have two waterfalls for smaller photographs, magnetized to hold everything down. And like I explained before, you have um, a few pages that go up that I'm not gonna go through. And then you've got the envelope that works for these little cards. And you can add your book and into the pocket. So it goes to the moon and back. I know this is prima. The paper a lot of these cards are prima but then this one is not so there's a lot of different paper pads here together that i've added very old paper pads 
not that it's actually important. And then the last page is a pocket. Hello, sunshine. I just absolutely love how these pages fit together and how this album worked together. I love that it's a long rectangular one as well. I know it was quite difficult to film and I hope I haven't made you seasick. But um, I love it because it actually has a lot of space for very large photographs. And it's got a sort of falling in love album. Um, it could be an engagement album. It could be you and me like with all the little sequins. And that is such a beautiful quote to live your life with, with your significant other. There you go. And the, this is the next beautiful album, guys. What do you think? I absolutely love it. I hope it wasn't too difficult to watch, um, being such a big album. It wasn't the easiest to film. But I, I do my best and... Um, I'm trying to do voiceovers because maybe that's a little bit more personable than the music. What do you guys think? How stunning to have this on your coffee table. Have a wonderful afternoon, guys. Bye.